So when I started the East Meets West Hunt podcast, it was brand new to me. I'd never owned a business before and was going to be doing that on top of working a full-time job. I realized that I wanted to hunt every single year in the mountains out west. And to be able to do that, I don't have a lot of money. I don't work any special job. I work a regular nine to five that, that like anybody else, I felt like I have purpose past what I do as a a day-to-day job and I felt like that I could help people find the adventures that I wanted to do that I have been doing. I wanted others to be able to experience those same things. My name is Bo Martonic and by no means do I consider myself an expert elk hunter but damn I love chasing them in the mountains. Okay yeah we can do that. All right, it will cut across right here and just kind of side yell up and work our way towards the top. <laughs> you almost got caught on camera trying to f*** me out being a girl <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> oh, butter and herbs. Everything's at Sammy's. Where you start twice? Start twice. <laughs> Did you get her name? Oh, I got her name, number, address. You yeah, yeah, yeah. so <laughs> sit down there and drink coffee all day tomorrow. Exact pattern goes. Yeah, so I definitely <laughs> waited <laughs> out. It's one of those ideas like... <laughs>
see what that's happening. He's expired, man. <laughs> He's done. Oh. I'm gonna text Mason Michael, hopefully get this. I I remember the the elk fell over. I just <laughs> I completely lost it. I didn't I honestly don't even I can't even explain the emotions that I felt because it was something that you worked that hard for for you know half a decade of time just put into preparing and shooting and everything that that went into this that one moment it's amazing that you know one moment in time can mean so much to you and to anybody else you know on the outside that hasn't experienced something like this it's like oh wow you, you know shot an elk but to me it was you know a much bigger thing something that i can say I arguably haven't worked harder for anything else, any specific thing in my entire life is that that one shot. After getting the, the bull down on the ground and, and starting to you know butcher it and quarter it up and get the meat hung in the trees, I sent a text out through my, my Garmin inReach to Michael and just said, bull down. And he responded, you know, within 15 minutes once he read that message and said, we'll be there. And what I didn't know was, you know, him, Mason, and John would be climbing literally 3,000 foot of elevation to get up there to help me, you know, with absolutely no questions asked, no anything. They just, they showed up and they were ready to help. You know, they, they wanted to you know, not even have me carry down one of the quarters. Like, you just take the head, we'll take the rest of the meat. And, you know, I wasn't going to let them do that. But that just shows what kind of, you know, friends that I'm lucky to have and the people that, that we had here in camp that, like, I could not be any more grateful for that, you know, moment. And I can tell you right now, no matter what I'm doing, they call me and say, I got to bull down. I'm going to be there and, you know, be able to return that favor. That good? That's good. Is there anything else you can think of? Um, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk about that if you want. No, I'm kidding. <laughs>